Welcome to another scriptural study. In this scriptural study, we will be sharing what other wonderful, diligent Bereans are doing all over earth in regards to forecasting in advance on what the scriptures share in regards to how the sun, moon, and stars teach us to number our days in order to bring our hearts to wisdom. And far more importantly, we are so thankful for these same diligent Bereans all over earth who follow all of the scriptural witnesses of light from scripture to establish a matter. And more importantly, taking every opportunity in going outside in creation daily let alone during the four scriptural night watches, utilizing all of the scriptural witnesses of light in the Shemaim to number their days by testing and proving what Yahuwah, our Father of Lights, has actually provided for us all to bring our hearts to wisdom. So, the question we will be exploring in this scriptural study today is this. Is New Moon Day on the same day everywhere on Earth? And yes, we discussed this same topic over three years ago. And as well, recently, just over a year ago. Because at the very heart of this scriptural topic, like all scriptural topics, remains the obvious questions on what happens when we ignore, yes, ignore the guidance of Scripture when it comes to not following two or three, and yes, even more witnesses, if they are indeed available to establish a matter. As always, as it relates to our scriptural YouTube videos, Please stop the clip at any time in order to focus on the scriptural, historical, empirical, and astronomical information being shared. So again, in this scriptural study, we will also be exploring what happens when we do not utilize all of the witnesses of light from the sun, moon, and stars to determine New Moon Day as written in the scripture. And thus why you have heard us mention this non-scriptural approach in the past and the extreme danger of utilizing a one witness only method to determine New Moon Day. As an example, let us take the upcoming 12th month that is now upon us to truly shamar and or observe what happens with a non-scriptural one-witness approach as compared to a diligent Berean method of utilizing all of the scriptural witnesses of light from our Father of Lights to determine the true new moon day, which is not based on a crescent and or conjunction moon phase process because isn't it true that even the full moon phase approach that only few recognize and regrettable as it is, usually utilize methods of a one witness approach and or what is known as a lunar solar model only to determine new moon day. With the witness of when the moon greets the sun at sunrise. So, here is another question. Can the moon greet the sun before a 100% illuminated full moon event? To retrieve the answers to these extremely important two questions, let us attempt to utilize all of the witnesses of light from our Father of Lights for this upcoming 12th month to prove what the answers are, as any diligent Brian would. Because... In my area, on the pagan day of Monday, March 9th, the moon will greet the sun at sunrise and will be 3.1 degrees above the horizon. So, 
The question is, will this be the 30th day of the 11th month? And or, new moon day for the first day of the 12th month? Because in Jerusalem, Israel, on the pagan day of Monday, March 9th, the moon will actually be minus 0.4 degrees below the horizon at their sunrise time period. So, in Jerusalem, will this be the 30th day of the 11th month? And or, new moon day for the first day of the 12th month. So, as always, and as diligent Bereans do, let's follow the guidance of Scripture and obtain more witnesses before establishing a matter. What about Dallas, Texas, for the pagan day of Monday, March 9th? As the moon will be 2.4 degrees above the horizon, greeting the sun at sunrise. So, the same question for Dallas, Texas. Will this be the 30th day of the 11th month? And or, new moon day for the first day of the 12th month? And, Look at Berlin, Germany. Same question, right? But, wait a minute. What about Perth, Australia and Cape Town, South Africa on the pagan day of Monday, March 9th? What are we noticing here? And what about Anaheim, California as a seventh and final witness in this sample? Can we see now what happens when any of us utilize a one-witness, non-scriptural approach. Yes, this lunar-solar model only is indeed a great witness of light. But again, it is only one witness. And as we can see, empirically and astronomically, this one witness of the moon greeting the sun on its own for each and every month does not effectively determine New Moon Day for everyone on Earth. Again, this scenario only happens a few times annually. So, if you incorrectly utilize this one witness approach, like many regrettably do, then a few times a year, New Moon Day will not be on the same day everywhere here on Earth as we can see. However, diligent Bereans firmly believe, though, that when we utilize all of the witnesses of light from the scriptures in the Shamayim, we can indeed go outside and shamar, again, as documented for us in scripture from the Father of Lights, then and only then will New Moon Day be on the same day everywhere on earth, even for this particular upcoming 12th month type of scenario that only occurs maybe two to three times a year from what we have been able to glean with other diligent Bereans. And look what happens when we follow the guidance of Scripture in full and utilize three witnesses, let alone all available witnesses of light that exist in the Shamayim to establish the matter of when New Moon Day occurs for everyone, everywhere, on Earth. As previously shared, diligent Bereans who utilize all the witnesses of light that our Father of Lights provides, scripturally, empirically, and astronomically, go outside in creation to always attempt to secure a 100% plus confident expectation, so to speak. And thus why diligent Bereans who utilize all of the witnesses of light will be fully at peace. That the pagan day of Monday, March 9th is only the 30th day of the 11th month. And furthermore, why diligent Bereans will be fully at peace that New Moon Day, the first day of the 12th month, will truly commence at sunrise on the pagan day of Tuesday, March 10th, everywhere on earth. Hallelujah! Again, diligent Bereans acknowledge and celebrate the fact that Yahuwah's thoughts are not our thoughts. And as such, Bereans will not and do not 
attempt to publicly dumb down and are better stated from a scriptural standpoint to add and or take away what is written in the scriptures about the witnesses of light and or hide what the sun, moon, and stars actually do in the Shamayim day after day and or night after night. As diligent Bereans acknowledge that every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no change nor shadow of turning. And as such, diligent Bereans constantly strive to learn the laws of the heavens. And just how all of the scriptural witnesses of light with the sun, moon, and stars are actually set in motion by our Father of Lights in order to rule over the earth on a daily basis to tell time. More specifically, the appointed times of Yahuwah, which includes New Moon Days. And thus why... Diligent Bereans strive further daily to learn how to forecast the witnesses of light with the sun, moon, and stars from the past, present, and future. Because, again, diligent Bereans recognize these perfect witnesses of light from Yahuwah as a perfect gift, and as such are extremely thankful for these gifts. And thus, give thanks to Yahuwah for these gifts of light in the Shamayim by constantly striving to learn as much about them as possible daily. As an example, diligent Bereans learn why, where, and when the sun rises daily. And as well, what position the moon is to the horizon in degrees throughout the four night watches all the way up to sunrise every day. Let alone learn what is the position of the moon in degrees to true north from sunset to sunrise every day. And they strive to understand where the moon is at and to the horizon at moonset time periods daily including the position of the moon to true north, and more properly stated, in relation to the fixed north star daily in degrees as well, and are fully aware of the percent illumination of the moon during these time periods every day. And of course, the same process is completed for all p.m. sunset and moonrise activity every day. And yes, diligent Bereans always understand in advance and then verify what day and time the moon becomes 100% illuminated and when it finishes being 100% illuminated. And not just for their area. They look at other witnesses from other locations from all over Earth. So... How do all of these witnesses of light, which Bereans call perfect gifts from above, further help to prove that each new moon day in any given year is indeed on the same day everywhere on earth, each and every month annually? So, here is the question again. Is the upcoming first day of the 12th month on the pagan day of Monday, March 9th? Because with this one witness approach for this particular month, it has many incorrectly saying it is. While the diligent Berean approach of utilizing all scriptural witnesses to establish a matter is stating that the first day of the 12th month commences at sunrise on the pagan day of Tuesday, March 10th. Let us now look at the rest of the witnesses of light to fully test and prove when the first day of the 12th month commences, starting with when the moon becomes 100% illuminated, let alone when it stops being 100% illuminated. As an example, in my area, the moon becomes 100% illuminated 
on the pagan day of Monday, March 9th, starting at 9.06 a.m. and finishes being 100% fully illuminated by 1747 and or 547 p.m. on the same day, which equates to eight hours and 41 minutes of the moon being 100% fully illuminated thus helping to announce that new moon day will commence at sunrise on the pagan day of Tuesday, March 10th. And in Israel on the same day, the moon will be 100% illuminated for eight hours and 41 minutes. And yes, the same eight hours and 41 minutes of total 100% illumination time on the same day in Dallas, Texas. And yes, Berlin, Germany as well. And take a look at Perth, Australia. The moon becomes 100% fully illuminated on the same day as in the other locations and remains fully illuminated into the night hours all the way past midnight with the same amount of full light for 8 hours and 41 minutes and thus announcing that new moon day indeed the first day of the 12th month will commence at sunrise on the pagan day of Tuesday, March 10th in this location on earth as well. Hallelujah that we will shamar the same amount of 100% full light in Cape Town, South Africa, starting in the same day. And finally, the seventh and last witness in this sample from Anaheim, California, showing the same. What does this second witness of knowing when the moon starts and stops being 100% illuminated expose? And or better stated, what does the full light reveal? Well, first and foremost, our Father of Lights is precise with his celestial clock and calendar as he ensures equal 100% full moon illumination for all on earth to provide another witness of light to help determine new moon day, which regrettably the many ignore, let alone take away by consciously and or unconsciously instituting a one witness approach of when the moon greets the sun. Again, as good as this witness is for the majority of months, in an annual time period, this one witness on its own is not enough to determine New Moon Day for each and every month, everywhere on Earth annually. And thus why we can actually experience just a few times a year when the moon can actually greet the sun before a 100% full moon event. So, as we can see, we have successfully answered our two questions, astronomically, scripturally, and empirically. But as per scripture, a diligent Berean would go further with three witnesses to establish a matter, let alone to determine a new moon day event properly. With all of the scriptural witnesses of light available, Yes, diligent Bereans are extremely thankful for all of the perfect gifts of light that we have received from above, and thus we strive to further learn about them. Let alone further learn to apply these witnesses of light that were designed to rule over the earth in order that we can number all of our days in advance and thus be able to verify this forecast in creation to bring our hearts to wisdom. Let's look at another witness of light for the upcoming 12th month for both my area and Jerusalem. Do the witnesses of light at moon rise times and moon set times including the position of the moon each day, as cited by True North, which Bereans believe to be scripturally anchored by the fixed star known today as Polaris, 
does this fixed star known as the North Star reveal anything else to help determine the first day of any scriptural month, let alone this upcoming 12th month? Hallelujah for Bereans who take the time to learn what happens daily with the moon when it rises. And where, meaning the position of the moon in which it rises daily to true north. As an example, in my area on New Moon Day, on the pagan day of Tuesday, March 10th, it will rise closest to the 90 degree eastern mark, just as it will in Jerusalem. And for Bereans who acknowledge these perfect gifts of light from above, know daily where the moon will set. And as we can see in my area, the moon will set the following day closest to the 270 degree western mark, just as it will in Jerusalem. In fact, all locations on earth will experience the same moon rise and moon set witness of light for this upcoming first day, 12th month scenario. Just as all locations will experience 8 hours and 41 minutes of 100% full moon illumination. What are the other wonderful benefits of learning about all of the available scriptural and astronomical witnesses of light when we keep a record of them by tracking them year after year daily? And why? Well, simply put, it is because they reveal certain consistent celestial sign patterns from year to year for new moon days and feast days. As an example, on a first day 12th month scenario, the moon always rises closest to the 90 degree eastern mark, as we can see here with the upcoming 12th month that is upon us, here in this pagan year of 2020 just as it happened last year in the pagan time period of 2019, again for a 12th month celestial sign. In fact, this happens every year, everywhere for a 12th month celestial event. And any of us can verify this first by forecasting this particular scriptural witness of light from past, present, and or into the future time periods. And Better yet, we all will be able to verify this particular witness of light just after sunset in regards to where this moonrise position will actually be, let alone how the moon will rule with all of the scriptural stars through all four night watches. Another amazing scriptural and astronomical fact is this. The scripture tells us that the moon and stars rule by night. And there will be no exception to this rule for this upcoming 12th month New Moon Day celestial event as well. In fact, in the book of Eob, Yahuwah, our Father of Lights, reveals that he controls the annual counterclockwise motion of how the stars determine seasons. And as we can all shamar and or observe on each New Moon Day, the moon will be in its assigned position at moonrise, in alignment with the scriptural stars in their assigned seasonal positions. Is this not why the scriptural calendar of Yahuwah is also known as a daily celestial clock, let alone a seasonal celestial clock? So, Let's do our Berean diligence with the witnesses of light from the scriptural stars to see what they show for a first day, 12th month celestial event and or annual sign. And once again, let's retrieve three witnesses and or look at three separate years of witness with the scriptural stars as aligned to how the moon rules with them for a 12th month scenario from sunset to sunrise. Here is the view at sunset, going into the first watch, the night before the first day of the 12th month, back on the pagan day of Thursday, March 1st, 2018. And approximately three hours later at midnight, here's the view with the scriptural stars moving counterclockwise. And the final view, 
which is at sunrise, announcing new moon day for a first day, 12th month celestial event, and or sign, in the pagan year 2018, which was verified by many diligent Bereans all over Earth with photograph and film footage. Here are those three views combined on one visual. Now, let's take a look at the pagan year 2019 to see if we seen the same thing. Here is the 2019 sunset view, just like we seen in 2018 for the night before a first day 12th month celestial event and or sign. The same with the midnight view and of course the sunrise view. And here is the summary view for the pagan year 2019. And it is the same as in 2018, isn't it? But what about now in the pagan year 2020? Shouldn't we see the same celestial pattern and or sign for a first day 12th month? Well, we do, don't we? As we can see from this sunset view, midnight view, and all the way up to the sunrise view, which highlights that new moon day for the first day of the 12th month indeed commences at sunrise on the pagan day of Tuesday, March 10th, 2020. And here is the summary visual for the pagan year 2020, just like 2019 and 2018. Hallelujah for those that utilize all of the scriptural witnesses of light and as such do their diligence as a Berean would, forecasting in advance and then getting outside to ensure their eyes go before the night watches to study the word. Because it is only with all of the scriptural witnesses of light that night after night reveals knowledge. Is this then not the proper way to trust in Yahuwah with all our heart? and to not lean on our own understanding by ensuring we only utilize the scriptural witnesses of light by not adding and are taking away from them? Please do not let anyone dumb down the celestial clock and calendar of Yahuwah with a one witness approach and thus attempt to rob others from all of the available witnesses of light that can be verified in Shemaim. Again, Bereans that are diligent praise the Father of Lights for all of the perfect gifts that come from above, with the clear intention of constantly striving to learn everything they can about the celestial laws that produce the celestial signs which reveals how they rule over the earth daily, weekly, monthly, and annually, consistently. Hallelujah for diligent Bereans who prove all things, that have the intent to allow the Father of Lights, with all of his witnesses of light, to teach them to number their days. Question. Do not, and or will not, all of the scriptural witnesses of light produce a confident expectation? And thus, the peace that only Yahuwah, our Father of Lights, can provide, which surpasses all understanding, which will guard our hearts and minds through the Messiah, Yahushua? Which is better, being lukewarm and or at peace with all of the scriptural lights? Because... What is the scriptural oil that lights the lamp? As always, feel free to request any of the visuals and or script materials from these videos in order to critique further. Have an excellent New Moon Day, everyone, on this upcoming 12th month, which commences at sunrise on the pagan day of Tuesday, March 10th we continue to call upon the name that these scriptural study videos provide value to you and your loved ones. Until next time, Yahuwah willing, all the best with all 
of the scriptural witnesses of light.